access to physical and mental health care remains a challenge in the Northeast and other parts covered by the International Committee of the Red Cross. In Borono State, most of the health care centers have either been damaged or lack qualified personnel. TVC News Kolomidala, in this Sunday special, examines efforts by the International Committee of the Red Cross to provide health care to weapon-wounded victims and provide potable drinking water to over 80,000 people in some communities in Meiduguri, the Borno State capital. This is the eye dependency unit of the specialist hospital in Meiduguri, built and managed by the International Committee of the Red Cross. With modern equipment, it is manned by highly skilled doctors and nurses ready to cater to wounded victims of Boko Haram's decade-old insurgency. We watch as critically wounded persons wear wheel for surgery. Some of them are referred from other organizations. Many of the patients come by themselves to the hospital and we are a referral center for all the weapon wounded cases. So all the patients being treated with us, they have a free treatment. Add uh, to this uh, very bad situation, another very bad wound, which caused by bomb blast or bullet. Uh, our patients, they're really broken and uh, this is the biggest challenge not only to heal uh, their body, but as well to heal their soul. And uh, this is uh, one part of our activity as well. In the genus health staff provide additional support in caring for the victims. The main objective of all, all this is the sustainability of the project, is the sustainability of what we are doing here. We are not here just to do what we know and leave, but we are here to do what we know and to transmit this knowledge that they can stay and can the population can, can make some profit of it and that we can take care of the own population. And critical physiotherapy cases are being handled by this man, Daniel Madenbo. We normally provide services for rehabilitation and this involves from the beginning when the patients are brought in and they have different conditions like uh, uh, injuries and mainly fractures of the limbs, it is our responsibility to take care of these patients who have got this type of injuries. Some of the victims in the male ward have been here longer than 12 months. I have been here for over a year. I got injuries from a bomb attack in Burma. Thank God, out of 13 of us that got injured, only three of us survived. I thank our president. I am recuperating gradually and receiving the best from these good people. Thank you so much. I've had a chronic ailment for six years. I couldn't do anything unless I took medication. But I was advised to come to the hospital and was received and treated by ICRC staff. We identified them and we referred to the ECOSEC uh, units and they are well supported. So we are really happy. We have our uh, the basic instruments we need and manpower to do our best to our beneficiaries. The Red Cross is not only involved in treating injuries, it is also into preventing illness and has provided portable water to some communities in Meduga. We have almost uh, started uh, fully operational of this plant, not even to the full capacity because the house all condition is going on. About almost 4,213 houses have been collected. Right now, work is going on. 10,000 households that have been without water for years benefit from this project. As of now, the water is very sufficient to us. We are satisfied. We are glad with the new government. We are happy the water situation has improved due to the installation of the water project here. The health intervention projects of the Red Cross have saved hundreds of lives and the impacted communities are happy for this.